to uh, this first episode of Social Media Success for Independent Hotels. Uh, my name is Sam Erik Rutman. I'm broadcasting from, from Helsinki, Finland. And uh, I've been really grateful that you are joining in today. So uh, let's see if we can get who is joining us uh, this evening. Uh, we have uh, people from around the world has been invited. So I'm really looking forward to see who is here today. Uh, if in the event you, you're not able to join this broadcast, uh, this will be a replay view also for uh, for you to view at a later date. Uh, but the purpose of this is a, a weekly masterclass. Well, I, I will not say a masterclass, it's maybe too pompous to call that, but it's a, a weekly workshop where we are talking about uh, social media uh, connections and how to make them workable for you, the independent hotels. I see that the, the, the lot of big companies, the big brands, they have a very strong corporate structure for the social media and the digital marketing. But independent hotels uh, probably can benefit from a few tips and tricks that I can offer. And, uh, and that's really the purpose of today's broadcast. So uh, uh, thank you again for, for joining and I hope you can uh, hear me well. Uh, let's see, how, how well do you hear me? Let's see if I can who is in here. So we have, uh, uh, can you, uh, where are you watching from uh, today? Can you tell me where, where are you brought to, where are you watching this uh, broadcast from? And uh, so we can have a, basically the idea is that uh, if you, when I go through some of these topics and you have any questions or you, you can write them in and if you uh, agree then you can give me a, a thumbs up or don't disagree say you don't disagree or you have another question so so this is the idea with this broadcast and I'm broadcasting from a from a very interesting platform called be live and uh, my name is Sam Eric Rutman as you can see here and I'm a uh, hotelier by heart I've been working my entire industry life in the hotel industry and uh, I started during the pre-digital era in fact and uh, the pre-digital era was uh, I remember wh when the, the, there was a TV revolution and the TV revolution was that we were sitting around with our, our parents watching the black and white uh, TVs but uh, yes, I came on board into the hotel industry. <coughs> I came uh, onto the hotel industry uh, in, in that era where we didn't have mobile phones, we didn't have beepers, we didn't have uh, live computer situation as we have now. And, uh, but it gave me sort of an understanding what the true hotelier life is all about and what we would need to do in order to make us successful at that time. But now, the, of course, the industry, the initial heart of the hotel industry hasn't changed. But the way we operate uh, in using it to our advantage, these uh, digital tools in our, uh, in our toolbox has changed and it's continuously changing and give us an opportunity to be to reach more people and be and connect with a, a larger audience. A little bit about my background. I was, uh, in my career, I had a chance to work in on four continents. I worked in US, I worked in Asia and in Middle East. The last 10 years of my career, I spent in Middle East and, uh, and uh, worked with the companies like Hyatt International, Intercontinental, Dusit International and Langham Hospitality Group. So those are all excellent brands and excellent companies which I learned from and also helped to contribute. But when it came to social media, I was the last hotel I was involved with was in the 2008 when we were opening a hotel in, in Dubai. And of course, we didn't know much about the social media at that time. Uh, the Facebook had just come out and we th I thought it was an idea. Let's try to use the social media to attract uh, more uh, uh, guests to our restaurant. I asked our sales and marketing department, uh, can you help me with this Facebook? I said, well, we don't really know anything about this. And frankly, I, we want to focus on uh, going to the tour operators and we want to go to the 
companies to uh, meet them face to face and in order to attract them. So I said, okay, fine, if that's the case, let's uh, get somebody in the hotel who is already familiar with the Facebook and see what to, well, Telma, hello Telma, Telma Guerrero, thank you for joining. You have some question marks. Well, this is a broadcast about uh, social media success for independent hotels and I'm just giving you some update on uh, my background and also what I went through during the time as a uh, hotelier in the initial stages of Facebook and we realized we gave it to someone who uh, we didn't know how to give a proper training at the time and we gave uh, the tool to uh, a girl in the business center and uh, who had used social media or Facebook at that time and of course that was a the beginning of the trial and but long long things ha things have passed since, since that time and we can see that uh, hotels are getting more professional in how they're using the social media but I think what uh, is has transpired throughout the years is that when we initially been in the pre-digital era didn't have all these uh, digital tools we were on the mercy of uh, media travel writers and also nowadays you have the bloggers who will write uh, things about you and uh, and it's really how you can connect with uh, a lot of people and be uh, develop a trust with them and initially when i was in the hotel hotels we were uh, we want we realized that in order for us to be successful we need to also spend money on the marketing platforms but because of the the inherent way of thinking quarterly and capex budgets yearly uh, we didn't get those budgets to promote to improve our mar marketing platforms digital marketing platforms so these were really taken over by third-party suppliers and those third-party suppliers or the online travel agents has done an excellent job and it became a really a way of finding uh, finding that majority of the hotels are using getting uh, over 50 or even 60 percent of their business are booked through these uh, third parties and and they're paying a, a hefty commission which are going up uh, day by day and um, so i think this is a uh, thing so what i from a hotel point hotelier point of view you know, we tried to get, develop a relationship where we could see that people are starting to book us uh, directly. And uh, directly means that uh, we can entice them to get to the place where we can entice them to get the booking. And uh, I would argue that that would place would be uh, the hotel's website, in fact, rather than uh, the social media. And uh, of course, with the number of email campaigns, you can try to divert and get those people who are on your uh, on your uh, social media pages to go to the uh, to get them to the uh, to the web websites. But I think what has uh, another thing that has really changed is how we progressed into this digital era. Because in nineteen eighties, the businesses thought that the web is a fad, but in fact, and it would go away. But a lot of work has gone. And a lot of things went to in 98 late 90s went into creating a, the website and we created banner ads and to entice people to book our hotels and but we're still connected with the contract managers to uh, ask them to be featured in the tour programs so uh, i think these are the things that uh, has uh, uh, transpired but i think the big social media social re revolution was the social media revolution Oh, Thelma, is there something I need to do to watch the video? Uh, well, I, I think, uh, are, 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 do you not see me? Because I have a live broadcast going on, so uh, you don't have, all you have to do is, you can actually type a comment if you're on a Facebook uh, live, you can make a comment uh, on these, on, on, the, on the comments uh, state, and uh, that's where you have an opportunity to participate. Well, well, if you aren't able to see me, then try to reconnect with me again. So if there are other people who have a similar I issue, then I will uh, end the broadcast and st start, start again. I think that could be the thing. Uh, but I'll, um, 
I will continue for time being. So, uh, so Thelma, can you only hear my my audio? Uh, if you can just uh, type type in uh, yes or no, so that I know at least the audio is working. With the live broadcasting, this is uh, always uh, something can happen in the middle of the broadcast where you don't get the right connections where you were expected. How is my audio? I can see it from my own other device that you that uh, yeah, that I ha I'm on here. So uh, let me if you try to come back on the come back on the on, on this uh, Facebook. Well, uh, live broadcast in. Uh, thank you, Dennis uh, Shembri. Uh, thank you very much. Your your audio and visual is working fine for you. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, uh, where are you from, Dennis? Where are you watching this broadcast from? I'm based in here in Helsinki, and I know I have sent out invitations to, to Malta, to a number of uh, people in Malta, also to Thailand, to uh, Vietnam, and also here in Finland. So I'm always interested to see. Oh, Malta, great. Uh, Malta is one of my favorite places. I've been going there for several times, and in fact, uh, uh, I consider Malta my second home. So it's a, it's a it's a great place, and I'm very thank you very much for taking the time to to join this broadcast. Uh, well, um, let me continue now on how I see the issue on the on on the social media, and I think that the big change is that I feel that uh, social media has a is one of the important toolboxes in hotels or any small businesses uh, in order to develop uh, a relationship, not sales, but actually a relationship and, and a, a relationship that you can be trusted. And what has happened now is that more and more people are using the social media in the way how they are connecting with, with each other. But I find that uh, in some hotels, the social media uh, is being used as a sales tool and in fact uh, customers are getting more and more uh, critical about this where if they see a link in a, a, a for in the social media where to buy something they will pass it over if they see it in in, in the uh, connection that, you, that they are being left almost like forced to to buy something people will not buy that so i think that the, because live video is the most legitimate form of social media. It's an opportunity now to, to create a relationship with people and, and also to develop, a, a, to reach out. And, and in the same way as hoteliers, as we have been doing in Norway, we, are, we, we know how to uh, treat people and how to make friends when we meet them as a, as a guest when, once they finally arrive to the hotel. But we still need to find ways how we can make friends during the social media. And social media, particularly the live, live media and the live streaming, is really the great opportunity now to, to connect and make friends and then develop eventually trust. And how to use this social media, and particularly, let's say, Facebook Live or Periscope or any of those, is to create something interesting and engaging and get people your your fans uh, involved in this and some hotels are actually trying to steer them from the a uh, facebook page uh, to uh, the website and that's where the a, a offer and transaction will be made but uh, what has happened with the live video streaming which has been around for many many years particularly last year, and it's still this year, it is actually escalating all the tools that will be available in the live video, video platforms. Uh, Facebook Live came finally out for everyone. Uh, Instagram Live is coming out in most countries where it's actually a, a short video broadcast, which uh, once you finish the broadcast, it's, it will not uh, stay there. So that's a great opportunity actually for a hotel to create some sort of a promotions 
uh, during the time or a competition or an offer while uh, the discussion, uh, while you are on the live broadcast and entice them to come. And that's how you can gauge how you are, uh, how the popularity of the Instagram works for you. And the, in this part in the Instagram, it's in the, in the my story, in fact. And I have some samples about those, how, how it actually works, and I, I like to share those with you. YouTube Live, if you want to get into a, uh, some very high definition, high quality streaming, uh, YouTube Live is the place to be. But it's not the, it is not as popular as a, as a social media platform at the moment, but it's a place for uh, people who are searching, uh, searching for a product, searching for a hotel. They key it in and you will see some excellent, uh, excellent uh, professionally produced uh, video productions there. LinkedIn Live is coming up this year, and that gives for most of professionals who are in LinkedIn already an opportunity to go live. But what has happened now is that there are about 50 different platforms, video plat live video platforms, and some of them will stay and some of them will just disappear because of the popularity. But I really think if you are in the, in the uh, uh, Facebook Live, I think that's one of the things that uh, one of the platforms which will be growing even more and more thanks to the commitment of uh, the Facebook people who are going all in with live video. And also they are uh, growing like, I mean, there's about 1.6 billion uh, uh, subscribers to the, uh, to the Facebook. Uh, but of course, the market, depending on the geography, and you are able to uh, tar make some targeted uh, advertising and targeted uh, campaigns to uh, to reach a, a wider audience for yourself, but I think there's uh, there's never a replacement of the personal contact uh, when guests finally arrives to the hotel and enjoy the time to start to tell their friends on, on social. But I like to know which are, what are the social platforms that you are, are you using, uh, Denise or Telma, uh, who I see are are here. Uh, are you using if you're using Facebook do you want to give me a thumbs up uh, there are also other platforms are you using uh, Instagram already or uh, Pinterest LinkedIn Twitter snapchat Oh, you're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Excellent. So, um, which uh, are you? What are you? What are you? Uh, what is your line of business? Are you in the hotel or are you in a different uh, business? I, I would be interested to know. They are. Uh, most people are on Facebook, uh, I noticed, and because Facebook has actually grown. A hotel, excellent, excellent. That's very, I, I've been watching a number of hotels, websites, and it's really uh, good to see that you are, which one works for you best uh, in terms of uh, social platforms? Are you actually able, to, are you using that to uh, uh, engage with your, uh, with your fans or do you have several pages on your, on your Facebook, for instance? Because Facebook has an opportunity. Oh, Grand Hotel Excelsior. Excellent. Yeah, it's a great hotel. And uh, congratulations, you are one of the uh, pioneers then uh, in using. I was about two years, uh, maybe three years ago, I was in, in Malta uh, or attending one of the Malta Hotel and Restaurant Associations. And I was talking about Periscope at that time. And I thought that would be the greatest thing. But I, I realized that. Uh, it's not important which uh, social media platform you are on. You need to be where your audience is, in fact. And I, I think that's the, uh, that's the, that's one, one of the really the learning experiences that I've had. But I, um, I'd like to talk about some observations I have, uh, how co customers are, are using social media to choose a hotel or, or destination. Well, the number one, of course, is the people are asking their friends, where, where, where should I stay next time I go to, to a destination or Malta? 
and uh, over 50% of the travelers are searching for your hotel by name and they're using uh, different ways how, how they're reaching you and they're, they're using three different devices probably during the time when they're doing the searches whether it's say their uh, mobile device uh, their desktop or or, or or a tablet and I found out in, in the research I read about that there are usually 22 over 22 different visits that a traveler will make before they make the final decision and the reservation where they're where they're going they, they look at uh, Google they look at Expedia they look at the destination uh, in Malta would be the Malta Tourism Authority which have an excellent uh, uh, website uh, if they're interested in diving they maybe go to scuba.com or if they're interested in swimming they're looking at the, well, what they could bring with them for swimming uh, obviously they will go to TripAdvisor once they have single out which hotel they are planning of going looking at those comments and of course uh, then checking with the Lonely Planet or airlines booking.com now they're looking at the rate or Trivago or Momondo or Four Doors and of course then they will uh, go to uh, the social social media platforms that you have and I think that uh, most hotels now by now have a very good mobile uh, site for the hotel because uh, the, re uh, <coughs> the studies says that 50% uh, of the mobile users will not recommend a hotel that has a bad bad mobile site and and it's very uh, quite relevant to to update uh, the website in anyhow on a regular basis that it uh, take advantage of the latest uh, technologies but also uh, the observations I have hotels uh, while they're using uh, the social media is that I think that um, there are certain hotels that are very active in engaging with competitions or are engaging with their uh, with their audience and the others that are using it simply to show a picture of the weather or they are using the Facebook or the social media as a similar to as they use a uh, with the pictures that they have on the website so they, they, they duplicate the information on the website into the social media and I think that's a uh, uh, that's something to be said I think that a, a I would be worried if uh, because people will get bored very easily if they don't see that you are able to produce give them something mo more in in your in your social media platforms and just because there are some hotels are bragging to me that oh well we have 20,000 likes and uh, uh, so I said, well, uh, out of a half of those likes, what, are, what is the engagement and what is the conversion from those likes to actual bookings? Uh, well, then they, then they say, well, uh, we don't really consider that uh, as important. I said, well, I think it's important because if you're spending the time on social media, you, you might as well make the, the most of it. Because I, I think a, a, a like is like a first handshake. It's not a relationship. And... Uh, and if they and there's no guarantee to call and if you don't have a call to action in in those uh, social uh, Facebook pages nothing will happen and people will just say that the lovely hotel or they take a look at the pictures but I think the social media is important that you are looking for ways how you can engage with people and in fact if you're using smartly your uh, your Facebook ads and then you are looking for a new demographics or new geographical location of getting a, an audience from there's an opportunity to start to introduce the hotel uh, I would definitely uh, avoid using the similar uh, trap of using the duplication of what you have on the, on the, the web pages because the people will notice that directly and then they say well uh, what's the point of going back to the Facebook page but also that the uh, also entice them to to uh, once they put the uh, that they like that they go get the notification once you have a new post that they, they will see it because that will give them a reason for to, to come back but uh, besides uh, Facebook uh, uh, Instagram uh, I, th I think uh, is very interesting uh, is a very interesting uh, uh, platform because it has grown uh, 
tremendously. I mean, uh, it, there were some 150 million people using it last year. Now it's 600 million. And I think the strategy for, uh, for Facebook that owns Instagram is to uh, put a lot of new features into the Instagram in order to compete with uh, the platforms like Snapchat. Remember, Instagram was a platform which was used as a digital uh, uh, scrapbook, if you will, and many professional uh, photographers used uh, used uh, Instagram to post their photography, and some of, and they'll be actually using it as, as a gallery for them to sell uh, their prints. I mean, this is a uh, one of the famous uh, Finnish photographers, Konsta Pukka, who has um, uh, some hundred, two hundred thousand uh, followers. He sells art. Once people are taking a liking and, and it's an excellent way of promoting his, his tool. Uh, I seem to be on and off on the broadcast. Are you still seeing me? Uh, uh, so, uh, and Instagram I came up with my story and I, I will have, I have, I'm going to upload <coughs> some features of some certain uh, hotels that are using the my story, not to promote or sell anything, but just to talk about what they're all about. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's uh, these things happen on when you're on live live streaming. Uh, Denise, I'm interested. Are you um, are you using? Uh, well, you're you're on Instagram. Are you using my story for any of your postings? Have you tried that feature? Because my story is actually an opportunity to have short clips and to give you a little bit of a flavor of the day from your from your from the destination or from the hotel without actually selling but just to give a little bit of more what you can offer uh, i will share with you uh, what the uh, hyatt is doing in tokyo well okay great i'm, I'm happy to share with you uh, for the the instagram my story is on on the on the top of of your page where you can actually uh, click and feature a 10 second video clip live and you can actually then you can add that to your my story and then you do another feature after the, for another 10 seconds and usually what people do is that they they and it will last there for about 24 hours for example uh, four seasons in paris is using uh, my story effectively of showcasing what they do in the hotel and uh, if you go to four seasons hotel in paris uh, and check their my story i mean you need to follow them and then they they will then you will see this their uh, stories uh, i will upload on, on this facebook page the uh, what they did with chocolates they have one of the uh, famous chocolatiers and basically he, he was just showing off the one of the chocolate desserts. Uh, another day we saw the uh, chef from uh, one of the restaurants who show a, a pasta recipe, how he made, he created a pasta. And of course it, uh, he just, they clipped on to a, a, a one minute, my story out of that. And, and this is, it gets a lot of followings because people get very interested because uh, you're not trying to sell anything. You're just, you're showcasing what the hotel has and also Four Seasons Paris is very famous for their lobby and their uh, uh, flower arrangements so they show those uh, what, the, what the flower arrangements are like and so I think those are the ways you can kind of add more to what you are all about and you're just creating an image for yourself as a hotel now when Instagram live comes out it is. I know it's in Spain already. It's not in Finland, so I haven't seen it. But I, but I've seen uh, in US how our hotels are using it. Is that they are uh, because it's a very this this <coughs> clip. They are, just they give a promotion and basically entice people to look at the code, which is on that clip, and then entice them to to make a make a purchase or or go to the uh, coffee shop for uh, for a. A, a, a premium that you can give them so it's an opportunity to make a promotional tool uh, but Instagram also uh, besides when you're in Instagram you have a chance to 
uh, it's very important that you are consistent, that you have a regular basis, uh, not only about yourself, but also about uh, Malta or your destination, and uh, have some very high quality visuals. And, you, and with these hashtags that you have, you have a chance to put uh, uh, nine or 10 hashtags, in fact, uh, in order to, and you can create those uh, different hashtags that fits the, the theme and that's how you can build and engage with your with your audience and i, I think that um, i think instagram is uh, a very good way for you to give a balance because there's a different audience in in social in in facebook because facebook's are your your friends already and but i found out that in instagram is it brings a lot of new people in in there and also, I'm going to have a separate session uh, next week, in fact, on Instagram, where I will be explaining in more detail uh, how to create an effective profile and how to use your profile to get people more engaged with you on, uh, on any live video features that you have. So that, that's I'm looking forward. I'm going to talk about also the, the Instagram strategy because Insta for, for each social platform, you need to have a different strategy helps you to have a different strategy because they, op they, they work very differently. And uh, I'm very interested in Instagram at the moment. So I hope uh, Denise and everyone who is joining the broadcast and also for the ones who are looking at the replay will, have, will be uh, watching this. So I'll do a different theme every week, in fact. But I think the big message now is that consumers resist to be sold on social me media and it, I think it's important that you are uh, uh, use uh, well Facebook ads. My my opinion, I think it works very effectively if you are having targeted ads. You mean you, you target to your audience to a very specific audience, and it's basically about testing. Uh, it, it works in in uh, in for for hotels that I met uh, this Facebook ad is a way that you are building an audience. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are able to sell a, uh, a specific uh, offer at the time. And, and that's where I see that the, uh, the Facebook ads serves as a, getting a larger audience for yourself rather than, uh, rather than a, uh, um, uh, as, a, as a sales tool. And uh, once you get the larger audience, you try to divert them to the place where you want to do the to do the business with them, and that is a strategy that I have been recommending. Even though you have a buy button on your Facebook and you get a few ads, but you have to kind of see whether you are uh, uh, in how many bookings you are making. Uh, you're referring to oh, I see your opinion on about using Facebook ads on Instagram. Uh, I think you, uh, I, I will have to look into this and I will uh, talk about this on, uh, on next week. So uh, I'll, I'll get back to you on this, definitely. But that's a very good question and uh, that helped me to develop the theme of what we're going to talk about. And um, so uh, then, of course, there is the Snapchat. Uh, and uh, I think Snapchat is... Uh, uh, I started to use Snapchat uh, uh, when it just came out and uh, it came out in 2015 in fact and uh, at that time uh, I tested it and I linked with my niece uh, who is at the uh, who is at the age using Snapchat with her friends and uh, so, so, so I met her and uh, because she didn't respond to me and uh, so I met her and I said uh, hey I'm on Snapchat did you why are you not connecting with me Oh, I saw this strange name of Sam Eriks. I mean, and uh, I wonder, is that my uncle? And she said, you must be the oldest uh, person on, on Snapchat. I said, well, oh, that's encouraging me, so I will continue to be there. And I found that Snapchat is very, has become a very much of a, a, a great source of getting more fans and also uh, businesses are taking Snapchat seriously. Obviously, it's for a different age, age group than Facebook. I mean, if you're asking a 16-year-old, uh, what do they think of Facebook? He said, well, uh, either they say it's for old people or say it's, it was what was trendy three months ago. But uh, for hotel businesses, I definitely think uh, Facebook is, is a very important 
place to be and also uh, and if you have a restaurant or a bar that is catering for a younger crowd then i think this is a, uh, the snapchat is a, is a opportunity to be uh, w hotel in doha is using snapchat but i think they they could be doing more with their way of promoting it because the the person who is using she's walking around the buffets and just showing pictures and you don't really see an engagement and i will upload how successfully some companies particularly they are in the fast food like taco bell is using to tell a story without actually selling but they're just indirectly promoting their their brand and also how they are going about it and that's a, just an idea how to use and i i think it's uh, uh, not directly age related everything is not age related it's, it's a mindset related uh, there, are, uh, there are people who are using facebook they're using uh, instagram they're using snapchat but using a different ways to tell their story and i think this is what the the, the big takeaway i like to give you is that uh, you have an opportunity to tell your unique story because every hotel has a unique story and uh, that's what i learned when i was in thailand uh, you know we, when we for pre-digital era we had uh, we had sort of the five senses we want to promote and we had different holidays different uh, festivities you have the 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 aromas the tastes and the sounds of thailand and and uh, the sights of thailand and every single part of that is about telling you can tell a story not only about yourself trying to sell something but to just to embrace people to to see what you can offer and what you are all about the seasonal fruits uh, the music the dances the the holidays i mean all this is if i would have been in the time when we had uh, uh, in the hotel in phuket where we had uh, social media i would be all, all in with this with the uh, live video and live streaming because it gives you a chance to tell your unique story not only uh, are you on the, as a mobile device but now for instance i'm doing this broadcast on on my desktop using this belive.tv so uh, I, I suggest that you take a look how belive.tv works because you can actually talk about have a broadcast on your desktop that uh, uh, there are a number of pro platforms uh, uh, there is the open uh, source broadcasting system which is, is our free belive.tv is free so you don't pay for, then there are uh, payable also but just to test how it works for you i think it's worthwhile to give it a chance but uh, with this with a mobile uh, good uh, bandwidth and a mobile connection and have a good tripod and and good lights i think that's a good start a dslr camera that is connected uh, with your uh, uh, memory card you can, you can or you have different ways you can connect live to to an audience here uh, so um, uh, and then i think uh, as, a, as a final a final takeaway is that uh, what are the five things you must do to be active in social media media one is be present i think you have to be present continuously and uh, also be engaged ask the questions from the audience while they're when you're speaking with them because it is a way you are building relationships and look people in the eye digitally like i'm looking at you digitally we are connected in our own way we haven't met before hopefully we will meet one of these days when uh, if you're in the same part of the world and uh, then remember to to be yourself uh, this is who i am here uh, with my broadcast today uh, from from helsinki and uh, you see what you get so this is my uh, my interest and five don'ts uh, simply broadcast content without engaging with people i think this is a a, a is, is very important uh, that you just tell tell something on and then you finish and you don't stay there to ask people and give them commentaries and uh, and ignore uh, thinking that L me equals friend or you start a conversation and walk away from it you need to have a conversation and talk about it and ask the question and you don't answer it you know those are the cardinal uh, cardinal rules and uh, you ignore the outreach so those are the do's and don'ts uh, as I have learned from my, myself on this and uh, 
the most important thing is a consistency consistency in being on the platform and consistency of uh, what you are uh, what you what the content is about and really uh, the value that you're providing is uh, up to to you the audience if you get if, if they get value it's not up to me because it's not about me it's about uh, providing solutions for you that will help you to become better in in this very exciting times in, in, in social media so uh, I will do a series of broadcasts and I will go over the Facebook more in detail Instagram snapchat LinkedIn and my favorite topic about the uh, live video revolution what it can do for for you so that's basically the topics for today and uh, I'm I'm still around here for to answer any more questions that you may have so uh, I appreciate Dennis that you have been very uh, you've been very kind to ask me questions and uh, uh, and uh, anything else you'd like to ask me and I'm broadcasting actually live from uh, from uh, from Periscope also so we have an audience here and uh, we have a number, a number of visitors here on on, on Periscope uh, watching this broadcast so and how do I broadcast? I have a my my laptop here where I can see uh, the the comments, and also I can write in with this be live. I think it's kind of fun. You can write in uh, something here, and uh, if you want to know my uh, Twitter handle, it's here. So uh, this is how you can, uh, and I can also project your uh, your question here so there are a number of tools in this that gives you a, a uh, uh, how, how this uh, this works uh, so so the be live is quite new uh, new platform and then uh, I have a mobile device here which I linked in to link to my uh, Periscope account so this is going simultaneously uh, live so this uh, gives me a little larger reach um, so let me know if you any any questions you have uh, give me a thumbs up if you forgot any value from this broadcast and uh, share it with your friends it will be most appreciated and uh, so for those who don't know me, I'm Sam Eric Ruthman. I'm a hotelier that is nowadays uh, a social media mentor. I enjoy sharing my tips and tricks on social media, helping people to uh, crush the social media, as they call it. So I uh, look forward to being of help to you. And these broadcasts are on a weekly basis. So next week, Wednesday, same time. Uh, if you're in Malta, it will be four o'clock. If you're in, uh, no, five o'clock. If you're in the uh, UK, it will be uh, GMT time at four o'clock. If you're in Vietnam, it will be, uh, I think, ten o'clock in the evening uh, or in in, the, in Thailand. So those are the viewers that have joined uh, this evening. So it's uh, it's been a lot of fun to be with you, and uh, thank you very much for. Uh, your comments and uh, I think this is what engagement is all about and uh, uh, just let me know do you have any more any questions you'd like to and uh, oh we have Songwoo Park who is uh, also here I got a lot of comments here but I can see them on I can, I can see them on uh, my uh, my device here so I just check if I uh, was there anything No, I think there's nothing else I have here. So, um, okay, Denise, thank you. Thelma, thank you very much. I see your 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 feedback here. So I appreciate that you're here and uh, uh, I'll see you uh, next week. So I will end this broadcast for, for this time. And so I hope you have a good evening and a good week. See you until next time. So this was Sam Eric Ruthman. And thanks again for all the replay viewers. And thank you very much for your time that you took the time to join this broadcast and for your comments. And uh, Denise, I will get involved. I will get back to you on this Facebook ads on Instagram. This will be something I look forward to sharing with you. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah.